I'm really out of breath, Signal. <laughs> it's not fair. They can run faster. Figaro! Where is he, Bernard? Figaro! Calm down, boy. It's very high up there. I'll go up and get him. What is it, boy? Hmm? I'm coming up, too. What can he say? Hey, what are you guys looking at? Oh. Is it safe up here? Huh? We watched her dancing for ages. We felt as if we were dreaming. Do you know what Nikita said? She said she must be the princess of the pyramid. Bernard, have you never heard the legend about that mysterious place? What legend, Maria? I've never heard about it. Please tell us, Maria. Poor Princess Australia. Australia? Yes. It is a very sad story. A long, long time ago, there was a country that was covered with bright, shining gold. In this land, there lived a beautiful princess called Estelia. She fell in love with a boy who was a commoner, and her father, the king, banished him to a far-off land, and they never saw each other again. The princess was so heartbroken, she drowned herself in a divine spring. Shortly after that, the kingdom fell into ruin and eventually disappeared. It remains a mystery to this day. This land was all covered in gold, huh? That's incredible! It's only a legend, Bernard. Whoa! Whoa! Hey! <laughs> <laughs> Come on, put your backs in the way. That tree, cut it down. It's gonna be in the way. Carlos? Oh, hello, Diego. What's going on here, Don Carlos? Well, you see this lovely place? It's gonna be my new farm, Diego. I bought the land at a very cheap price, you know. You're not going to knock it all down, are you? It was once the kingdom of gold. <laughs> You've heard all about the legend, too. Uh, I personally don't believe a word of it, mind you. But if we uncover some solid gold rocks, we won't be complaining, will we? <laughs> Mr. Carlos, we found something. Hmm? You better come and see it, sir. It's very strange. Don't touch it. I I'll be right there. Anything you find is mine, remember? It looks like an ordinary slate to me. Yeah, but what about those strange letters and shapes drawn on it? Well, they're not very good. A kid could do better. Carlos, you don't suppose it could be... Mm. Well, it could have been left by the people who lived here centuries ago. You mean the people of the Masa Kingdom? Yes. <laughs> oh, Diego, let us hope that when we dig out this well, the Masa people left us behind some of their water, too. Huh? Huh? You must leave here at once. It's the princess! Huh? Hey, I don't know who you are, but you're on my land, you... You are wrong. This belongs to me. You must leave immediately. You have been warned. Uh, uh, Boss, she... don't get worked up. She's just a crazy kid. Just ignore her. Yes, you're right. Hey, little girl, put the gun down or you may shoot yourself in the foot. I'm sure you wouldn't like that, would you? E Oh, uh, uh, help me, somebody! Hey, lady, please put down the knife. Australia, stop it. Australia? This land no longer belongs to us. <laughs> hey, huh? boss! Uh... Mr. Carlos? <sighs> now then, old man, tell me what this is all about. My apologies for the girl's behavior, sir. What I'm about to tell you, you will find very hard to believe. The girl's name is Estrella. She is the last descendant of the Mosa Kingdom who lived here many centuries ago. Mosa Kingdom? <laughs> <laughs> Nonsense. I don't believe a word of it. <laughs> descendant from the Mosa Kingdom? <laughs> she understands the letters. <laughs> what, what did you say? That slate, she could tell you what all the letters mean. Well, that would be very interesting. Hey, Estrella, will you translate these letters for me? They may tell us where your ancestor's gold is hidden. <laughs> <laughs> West of the Holy Spring, under a statue of a warrior is a mask and a golden bracelet. Hmm. 
Well, what else does it say? I can't read anymore. The letters have worn away. Yeah, I think you've read enough. If only I could find me a golden bracelet and mask, then I should be a very happy man. <laughs> <laughs> Hey, somebody carry the slate back to my house. I must show it to my wife. <laughs> this trailer is so beautiful. I think she could be a real princess, Diego. Hmm. What do you think, Maria? Yeah, it sounds just like a fairy tale to me. Maybe I'm a princess too. I could be the only descendant of a long lost royal family. <laughs> <coughs> oh, have I made the coffee too hot for you? This came from the new site, you say, Carlos? That's right, my dear. There was an old man and a young girl there today. She read the inscription on the slate and told us there was gold treasure buried there. <laughs> Carlos! <laughs> I hope you're not trying to make fun out of me. Oh, oh, no, of course not, my dear. Think nothing of it. I was only joking. You shouldn't joke about such things. If anybody hears about this, we'll be the laughingstock of the town, you stupid man. <gasps> I wish I'd never married you. Don't cry, my dear. Daddy! Huh? Dr. Peron is here. He'd like to see that old slate. Hello, Carlos. I've been doing some research on those old ruins, and I'd like to have a look at the slate, if you don't mind. <laughs> oh, uh, yes. Although I just brought it home for some fun, I don't think it is worthy of serious study, Dr. Peron. Please don't tell anyone about this, Dr. Peron. People will laugh at us if they know about it. That is quite enough, Katerina. Incredible. This is genuine. What? What? Uh, Just uh, what does that mean exactly? The slate comes from the Mossad Kingdom. I'm sure of it. I recognize the letters, but I'm afraid I cannot tell you what they mean. There is no one alive who understands this ancient language. So it's true. West of the Holy Spring, under a statue of a warrior is a mask and a golden bracelet. West of the Holy Spring, under a statue of the warrior is a mask and a golden bracelet. Look for the mask and bracelet. Dig very carefully, though, or you might damage the treasure with your tools. Come on! <coughs> oh, well, we found them. Uh, look at that. Did you hear the news about Carlos? No, oh, tell me. He really did find gold at the ruins. Maybe there's more slates to be found. We should dig some up ourselves and find some more gold. We could take those slates to the girl. She could tell us what they say and where the gold is. Easy. Yeah, let's get in on the action. Let's take some gold for ourselves. Let's to make the gold, the gold into gold! Oh, I can't remember the last time I had breakfast like this. I brought you some more eggs, darling. You'll need all the energy you can get. No, if I eat any more, I'll explode. Well, besides, I must be going to work soon. I I'm hoping we'll find some more gold today. <laughs> oh, Carlos, I love you so much. <laughs> what a woman Katerina is. As soon as she knows I've got money, she loves me again. And I just hope it lasts. Mr. Carlos! Yeah? Quickly, over here! <laughs> What's going on? Oh, whoa! Whoa! We couldn't stop them, sir. Well, what do you think you're doing? You're on my land. It's not your land. It's everybody's. The Governor General has declared this land public property, so we have every right to be here. If you don't like it, you can talk to him about it. I found one. Huh? I don't believe this. Here's another one with strange letters on it. I wonder if it will tell me where a golden sword is buried. I found another one. Me too. Here's another one. Oh, no. Hey, boss. Are you OK? My gold. They're taking my gold. What? Ten gold coins? That's what we charge. OK, ten gold coins it is. Pay now and your message will be ready tomorrow. OK? Oh, OK, see you tomorrow. Sure. And the next. Mm. About time. I've been expecting you. 
I hope you brought the money you owe me, old man. Uh, don't worry, I've got your money. But this is the last payment. I don't need any more. Hey! Stop! Everyone must leave this site immediately. I don't understand. We're not taking on army land. The army has just requisitioned this land, so just move That's it. That's not fair. We were told that this land belongs to the public. Well, Commander Raymond has decided otherwise. You are not allowed to remove any objects from the site. Put everything down and leave or you'll be arrested. They're going to the hotel. I hope there's no trouble. Australia! Hmm? Hurry up and finish your packing. We must leave immediately. We'll be able to reach San Pedro by nightfall. We won't ever be able to return to this town again, will we, Grandpa? Not for at least ten years. By that time, they would have forgotten about us, hopefully. You're not concerned about the ruins, are you? Look, don't worry. This area is full of legends. No one will suspect us until we're long gone. Now, come on, let's get going, huh? 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 You are both under arrest. Uh, what have we done, Lieutenant? Hey, come back. You're making a big mistake, Lieutenant. We're innocent. You hear me? Innocent. Ah, I want to complain to your superior officer. Stop making all that noise down there. Hey. He's back. I must try to persuade him to let us go. Oh, Lieutenant, there must be some mistake. If you release me now, I won't press charges. Shut up. Commander Raymond wants to see you. Hmm? Most interesting. Well, Commander. Answer me honestly, are these genuine? Oh, absolutely, sir. One man has already found a golden mask and bracelet. What more proof could you need? My granddaughter really is the descendant of the Mosa Kingdom. She has the power to understand the ancient writings. I hope you're not lying. If these are real, we can find more gold. When we understand what these slaves say, then we'll know if you're telling the truth. Your life depends on it. I promise you I'm telling the truth, sir. There is lots of golden treasure still to be found. Lieutenant Gabriel, I want you to take the old man and search the ruins thoroughly. Sir! Any gold that is found belongs to the army. Supposing we search the site and we find nothing, sir. Huh? He could be lying to us just to get out of prison. But why would he want to lie to us? He knows what will happen to him if we don't find gold. Let's remind him of the consequences. Sir, he could face life imprisonment or the death penalty. I'll keep the girl until you return. Ah! Hey, shut up, will ya? Oh, what a beautiful night. So many stars. This way. Wait, old man. Are we going to the place indicated on the slate? Of course, west of the Holy Spring under the statue. Follow me. Uh, for an old man, he walks surprisingly quickly. I can hardly keep up with him. Uh, 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 hey, wait for us! Where is he? Curse him! He's escaped! I don't think he's an old man at all. I told you it was all too good to be true, didn't I, Carlos? You didn't believe me. It was all very convincing, if you ask me. After all, he did tell us where to find the buried treasure. This pie is delicious. The trouble with you is that you're always thinking about money. To live a comfortable life, one needs money, Lolita. Well, I don't agree with you. I think it's lovely that the legend of Princess Australia has been the talk of the town for a few weeks. There was something about the old man in Australia that made me feel as if they were genuine. Do you agree with me, Diego? Sure, Bernard. After all, Dr. Perrone said those letters were for real. They made fools of all of us. I, for one, don't believe that a Princess Australia ever existed at all. I have to go and meet Commander Raymond. That land by the ruins still belongs to me. No, oh, that poor girl. She will be sent to Paris Island. Paris Island? 
The island is a huge prison. I've never known anyone to return from that terrible place. Oh, what? They are taking her tomorrow morning. Oh. Did you hear about the people over at Santasco? <laughs> yeah, they were fooled by a con man over some treasure. <laughs> the whole town went on a sort of gold rush. Ridiculous. Yeah, shame about that poor girl. <laughs> yeah, she got sent to Peros Island while the old man got away free, free as a bird. It's not fair. He's the one who should be punished. <laughs> yes, the scoundrel. Yeah. Please, Diego, we must do something to help Australia. After tomorrow morning, she'll be gone forever. She doesn't deserve to go to prison. She's not wicked. You're right. She's innocent. I will go and rescue her, but I must go alone, Bernard. The army will have guards everywhere. No way! This is an important rescue mission, and you'll need the assistance of Little Zorro! I'd do anything to help Australia. Hmm. Okay, Bernard. No, oh, sorry, I mean Little Zorro. Let's go get her! Stay close, Bernard. Let's go. Hmm. Ah! Huh? <laughs> Grandpa! Yes, sir. Watch out, Grandpa! Come on, we've got to get out of here. Let's go, Australia. Thank you. Hold it. <gasps> I've caught you, Zorro. You're under arrest. Ah! Here! Yeah. Ah! Ah! Hey! Help! Zorro! Come here. on, there's no time to lose. Get them! Leave these guards to me, little Zorro. You get Australia and the old man out of here. You got it. Let's go! Ah! Ah! Stop that! Oh. You mustn't escape! Oh. That way! We've got him. Lieutenant seal the exits at once. Sir! Close the main gate! Hmm. Huh? Oh boy! Look at that! Big cannons! With a box of these, we could destroy the whole army, you know, little Zorro. Ah! I'm waiting, Zorro. Well, here I am. As you can defend yourself pretty well, Zorro, but how do you attack? That better? Zorro, you fight well for a bandit. I just don't understand you. I only fight for justice and freedom. You know that, Jekyll. I am concerned about justice too, Zorro. Oh, really? Huh? <laughs> Quick, man, get after them. You are a clever man, Zorro, but one day I will get you. My mother died five years ago, and I was left to fend for myself alone. I remember my mother once telling me about the Mossa Kingdom and Princess Australia. It was a beautiful story. But when she told me that I was the last descendant of the Mossa Kingdom, suddenly this longing I had for the past made sense to me. 
I've always felt that I belong to a different time, you see. When I came here to the ruins, I felt as if I had come home. I felt at one with the wind, stones, trees. Everything about the place was so familiar. Who knows, in a previous lifetime, maybe I really was Princess Australia. Diego! Can we go home now, Diego? I'm hungry! Yeah, sure, Bernard. The local art gallery houses many beautiful paintings, but are they genuine? Diego and Bernard suspect some may be forgeries and set out to uncover the mystery. Before long, they discover a dark world of kidnapping and intrigue, and Diego's worst fears are confirmed. Can Zorro step in and put an end to the misery these forges are causing? Find out in the next exciting episode of Zorro!